Continuing from my previous video about creating a smartphone application that can communicate with Modbus TCP using MIT App Inventor, if in the previous video we only read one address register, then in this video, I will demonstrate how to read multiple registers and how to write to registers. Let's get started. In the designer, just like in the previous video, there are text boxes for inputting the Modbus server's IP address, buttons for connecting and disconnecting from the Modbus server. In this video, I will read three address registers, from address 0 to 2, and display them on labels. At the bottom, to perform a write register action, there are input fields for address and data, followed by a button to trigger the write register action. For the non-visible components used, there's a clock set at a one-second interval for Modbus reading. Additionally, there's a Modbus extension, a clock to set the delay between reading each address, a clock for timeout delay during the process of reading a register, and a timeout clock for writing to a register. This is the basic process for reading Modbus registers based on my experimentation with reading multiple registers. First, initialize several variables, address variable for register address which we will read, res variable for response, and res w variable for write response. On the screen initialize event, perform Modbus initialization. In the connect button event, initialize the Wi-Fi, set the IP address to the value in the IP address text box, and set the default port to 502. Set the protocol to 1, which is TCP, and execute the Modbus open command. Next, activate the clock read timer, which will start reading registers at intervals of 1 second. In the clock read timer event, activate the delay timer clock and set the address variable to 0 to start reading the register with address 0. After activating the delay clock, in the clock delay timer event, disable this timer. Then, set the variable res to Modbus flush. Subsequently, read the register with an address corresponding to the variable address and activate the timeout clock. After activating the delay clock, in the clock timeout timer event, disable this timer. Then, set the variable res to single response in Modbus. Using if control, set the reading result in the label according to the address being read. Set the variable address for the next register reading address. Then, Reactivate the delay clock to read the registers for the next address until register 2 is finished being read. Let's take a look at the complete block code in the MIT App Inventor. I'll share this MIT App Inventor code with you, and you can find the download link in the video description below. Now, let's try testing it using the MIT App Inventor companion app. I'm still using the Modbus Slave Simulator as the Modbus TCP server. Click Connect on the Modbus Slave to establish the Modbus TCP server connection using TCP IP. On Android device, click Connect to connect to the Modbus TCP server and start reading the register values from address 0 to 2. To write to a register, fill in the register address, for example, 0, and enter the data value you want to write to that register. Then, click the Write Register button, and the data will be updated according to the value entered in the text box.
In conclusion, in this video, we've successfully explored how to create a smartphone application that communicates with a Modbus TCP server using MIT App Inventor. We started by initializing the connection to the Modbus TCP server, reading multiple registers simultaneously, and even writing to registers. By utilizing clocks, we managed to set reading intervals and handle timeouts effectively. All of this lays a strong foundation for developing more complex applications in the future. Don't forget to check the video description for the download link to the application source code I've created. Thank you for watching. And see you in the next video.